I had a little bit of, um, well, there was some trouble in the garden and I think the potatoes are ready. <laughs> Well, as you can tell, the potatoes are starting to die back. They probably could have gone a little bit longer, but I'm starting to see some areas that are disturbed and the potatoes are starting to come out. I'm thinking maybe a squirrel or something came in here, maybe that it was digging for bugs, but it's popping the potatoes out, which is causing them to get exposed to the light, which we don't want. If you're unaware, you don't want your potatoes to be exposed to the UV light, to the sun. The reason for that is because it, it basically causes the potatoes to turn green, and that green releases a chemical that is bad for your health, which is why you're not supposed to eat green potatoes. So, I'm going to go ahead and start digging these things up because I don't want any more of these to get dug up by squirrels or whatever. And we're far along enough, so I think we'll be just fine. We'll probably have a mix of some larger potatoes and some babies. We'll see. Oh, wow. This was a good one. So... Something to note, when you are um, pulling up the potatoes, a lot of times the seed potato is still there. And you can kind of tell the difference. Let me make sure I'm in the camera. You can kind of tell the difference there where the fresh potatoes are much lighter in color. Oftentimes the seed potato is a lot darker, often a little bit shriveled. And so that'll give you a good clue into which ones you can eat and which ones go in the compost pile. These tiny little pearls, I, I'm, I don't plan on eating these or anything like that, but I don't like to leave them in the soil because these will volunteer and they will kind of sprout up. If you can, take everything out that you can find and then you can decide what you want to do with it. If you want them to volunteer in your garden beds, then yeah, go ahead and leave them. I'll show you the whole harvest when I'm done here. Okay, so uh, my camera overheated. It is very warm today, so uh, it's not surprising that it overheated, but I'm gonna continue working here and I'll show you the progress as I work. So this bed is all cleaned out. This is the first bed right next to all of the tomatoes. As you can tell, there's where the chicks are. So all of this is cleaned out. I still have another bed to do over here. So far, the harvest is looking really good. I'll show you the whole thing once I'm done with all of this, but I guess I got one more bed to go, so let's keep cracking. I need to get a small dish. I'm finding grubs all over the place and these are a perfect snack for the chickens.
Well, I got all the potatoes I could find. And uh, I think we did all right. I think we did just fine. We don't eat a huge amount of potatoes, so this right here is a lot of food for us. I think we'll be eating potatoes for quite a while. We got some some small yellow potatoes here. We've got some mammoth reds and we've got some baby reds in here as well. So it's a good mix for sure. So we can do we can do quite a few things. Dice some of these up, cook them in a pan. We could do some smashed potatoes with some of these. You know, this is a good smashed potato size right there. Obviously, we can do some baked potatoes and mashed potatoes and... You can barbecue it, boil it, brawl it, bake it, saute it. On top of the potatoes, we've got plenty of green matter for the compost pile and snacks for the chicks.